morning. This is morning here. Today we're off to Brighton on the south coast. Um, pretty nice day at the moment, although the weather for the next few days is pretty crap. So I'm going to take all the locks off the caravan. Now I was going to put the front cover on. Um, you can see I haven't. Because I've got a little bit of an issue with it. I spoke to, I'm speaking to specialised covers at the moment. It just seems a bit too big. I'll put in some pictures here. But uh, so what I do now is I kind of move the caravan off using the movers. I'll probably show you that the little motor mover ballet dance. Um, but first off, I've got to take the locks off. So as our drive is about 10 metres by 10 metres, and the caravan's about eight metres, there's not a great deal of movement for for me to sort of jiggle about. So um, what I do, I'll, I move my car off. Hopefully, I leave Mandy's car running. That should be okay. Oh, I forgot to mention. What do you mean the haircut? <laughs> a bit, a bit radical, isn't it? This is kind of what generally what I have before we go to South France because it's boiling hot down there and having long hair and in the heat is horrible. Anyway, so I I move the car now and then jiggle the caravan about a bit, get it kind of diagonally on the drive. So anyway, I'll show you. Right, movers engaged, handbrake off, uh, stays up, electric disconnected, motor mover turned on. There you go, there's all your mental checklist done. So I'll try and just, I'll just film it kind of with me buzzing it around if I can. Easy as that. <laughs> I made a meal of it actually. Now what I tried to do is avoid taking it out onto the road because that's why I did the funny kind of three point zone on the drive because as soon as you take it onto the road, although it's not a very busy road, but as soon as you do that, a lorry will come along and put you under pressure straight away. So it's less stressful if I do it that way. So I've got enough room here to kind of hook the car up without necessarily going on the drive. Hopefully, Ooh, a bit dark there. Summer's day in England, it's not cloud in the sky. So we're in Brighton still. Just come onto the beach. Sun, sea, sand. No sun, no sand, but there is sea, that's for sure. Um, just parked up here. I don't know if you've ever been to Brighton. Uh, they usually park on Brighton Marine. I think it's called Madeira Drive or something, or uh, maybe. But they've changed it all, it's gone one way and they've just basically got rid of 95% of the parking spaces. It was always a nightmare anyway, but they made it even worse. It's better for pedestrians in Venice, but parking isn't good. Probably want to look at the pier rather than look at me, wouldn't you? One good thing, it's a very calm day. So, the caravan club site. So there's the, there's the pier. 
seagulls, I've heard seagulls don't drink coffee, that's why I've got coffee. If I had a bag of chips, I'd be in trouble. So there's the pier. I've just been round. Um, the caravan club site is kind of just beyond those, well, I see those buildings there, that's the marina. And it's just opposite there, so just behind those buildings, really. Not far at all, a five minute drive, that's a really good location. Uh, zip wire here, that I won't be going on. That thing, I can't remember what it's called now, I360 or something like that, you can go up there. So it's not cold, but obviously not sunny. But you can't have everything, can you? Certainly not in my vlogs anyway. See you in a bit. Sorry, couldn't help myself. Just had a little walk here down to Rotting Dean, which is just a couple of miles from Brighton. Uh, it's quite a nice evening, it's overcast. And we're about the police. And then after me. That's Brighton down there. See again, very calm sea again. And then up that way is Salt Dean. More Rotting Dean for your delights. Just over here, Rodyard Kipling's garden. No, he didn't make exceedingly good cakes. It's just, uh, you know, Rodyard Kipling, that geezer. Um, I always get confused with him and Roald Dahl. Rodyard Kipling, did he write Jungle Book? <laughs> Am I talking absolute rubbish? And oh, sun. Uh. Yeah, so just here, it's a free garden. I won't, I won't take you around there. Well, I might tomorrow but I might not. You won't like it. It's too cultural for you lot. So I said we weren't going to go in there, but we are going in there, apparently. So someone did, didn't they? Some, obviously someone wrote, who wrote Jungle Book? Answers on a postcard. So here we are. I don't know what the time is. It's quite light still. Where are we? 10 to 8. Get ready for gardens. sort of place you don't want to get locked in. Rose Garden, I'm sure they'll check if people are about. Nice walled, walled rose garden. I'm betting Rodyard himself didn't actually do any gardening. Got people in, didn't he? Pause that and have a read if you wish. It's probably nice out when the sun's out. It's empty. Remember up here there's a bowls green. See, told you. Oh, croquet now. I say. New members welcome. Never really fancy croquet myself. Just having a look here, seeing how many plants I can name and I'm no, I can't really name many. I know my dad used to have things like this and these things down here and these which look like daisies. But I don't, these are nice, look like lilies. Everything looks like something, but I don't know what they are. Philistine. Right, still in Brighton. Another lovely sunny day, actually, which is great. Um, so I read somewhere that 97.9% of caravans are northerners. And it's also, and it's scientifically proven by the way, um, and it's also true that northerners don't generally go more than 10 miles away from their home. You know why they're from the district, lake district, all that stuff. Well, they don't need to come south. So this is really from my the northern posse. Um, a bit more of Brighton for you. Really nice wide esplanade. Espl esplanade, is that what it's called? I think of it like... An upmarket Blackpool. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to get myself in trouble with any Northerners. I'm only joking. Got the old pier there, burnt down a while back. And again, that I-360. Which I think you need to head for heights 